Hey everyone, I'm Nito King, and this is the final chapter of Folklore, which will begin the moment that I load my file. So once again, I'm showing you the intro screen so I have a bit of time to remind you, just in case you forgot from the very last video, that in Chapter 6 we discovered that Ellen's mother was the hag, and that she was responsible for the murders of Ryan and Ronaldo 17 years ago. She's now been stabbed to death by Suzette. And that's pretty much where we're going to pick up.
little fool. How dare you release me? I've already decided. I want to know everything. And here we finally get control again. I... guess that entire fight at the lighthouse happened inside the netherworld? It's all kind of confusing to me. Yep, we're finally here, the Netherworld Core. Let's get out of here, shall we? I mean, it's tradition. First thing we gotta do is run around the village and see what everyone's got to say. And just as Keats said, the portal to the Netherworld Core shows up at the Henge itself. We're done with the whole mementos thing now. The seal of Baral is broken, and so we can get into any of the realms we want. Let's see... I guess Suzette would be the first person to talk to, but she's not at home. Apparently she hit her head even harder than it looked. Yep, the end of Suzette's story is going to be a quest for this chapter. 
or more than one. But of course, questing comes after we've captured all the folks for the chapter. Besides, it's good to build suspense. And no, I'm not ignoring him. Keats is in the pub now. And here we see the gimmick of this chapter. Rather than doing it as one character and then doing it as the other, as we've been doing for most of the chapters along the way, we can switch between the characters at any time. You know what it really reminds me of? Psychonauts. Where you go into people's heads and fight their problems in physical form. Anyone? Well, I see the resemblance. Say what? I don't know. What are you trying to say? Ah, uh, well. Anyway, I thought I'd run by the church and see if I could actually see Suzette there, but she doesn't seem to be there. And there's no new graves in the cemetery to mark where Ingrid would have been buried. So I just have to assume that they're not actually in the game right now. We definitely can't forget to visit our Half-Live friends, though. And I don't remember whether Keats is also going to be at the pub at night, or if he just hangs out there during the daytime. But we'll find out in just a bit. If he is here, it'll save me a little bit of running, I suppose. And indeed, there he is. But I want to talk to everyone here first.
I guess we did kind of end up doing some of that, didn't we? Yeah, but how would you know what's in the Netherworld core? No one's been there for, like, thousands of years. And just in case you forgot, the daytime pub owners got probably the most significant quest in the game. That's everyone Ellen can talk to. Let's see what Keats can learn. Guess we'll pretty much just be making the same rounds in reverse. Yeah, most of these conversations are pretty similar. Charlie, you haven't really got much of an arse to speak of. More of just kind of a pelvic bone. And that's it for the nightlife of Doolin. Sort of a list of things we've still got to do. And of course, the Netherworld. 
more or less takes care of itself. We go into the realm, we fight our way through. What? I still don't know what I don't have to say! It's a good thing I don't have to say it, because I don't know what it is. Everybody's reminding us we... Oh, wrong way. But we do need to find out what happened with Suzette. And that will be our last reminder until we actually do the quest. Which we'll get around to eventually. But for the moment, I think we've talked to everybody that we can, gotten all the information we can get without going back into the netherworld. Which we'll have to do at night, of course. And I'll see you when we do that in the next video.